Are you coachable? What does that even mean? Hi, I'm Amanda, the body coach. I've been a fitness professional for over 20 years, and I'm here to bring you some extreme facts and knowledge to ponder on to help you in your health and fitness journey. So let's get at it. Coachability is key and crucial to performance breakthroughs, to achieving specific goals, to being open to a new process. And I'm just going to focus on your health and fitness journey. Being coachable is vital when you start your health and fitness process with a personal trainer, with an online fitness coach, with a nutritionist, physical therapist. If you are sports specific, if you are playing a sport and you are being coached, you need to be coachable. Heck, I'm a personal trainer and I need to be coachable. How does this apply to personal trainers within their careers? We need to be coachable when we are leveling up, when we are doing more education, certification. We need to be coachable. Everyone needs to be coachable. Does not matter what industry, your career or yourself is enthralled in, whether it be personal or professional. Okay, so whether you are doing in-person personal training or you have hired an online fitness coach, you as a client need to be open to learn, you need to be keen, you need to be ready, you need to be honest with yourself and your coach. You also have to be ready to commit to the process. You have to have that inner determination to commit, make changes and excel. Not to mention the coach client relationship is a make or break. So I know personally, I don't coach every Joe Blow in the world. I am very specific in regards to my niche that I really hone in on and love training. That being said, when you are an experienced seasoned trainer, you are more open and versatile to coach different varieties of clients. Doesn't mean you have to, you can hone in on your niche and capitalize on that. But let's not get too carried away. This video in particular is focused on the almighty question, are you coachable? There isn't one coach in this world on social media that has a massive client roster and a massive following that can succeed with every client. We all have those hardship stories that if that client coach relationship just didn't mesh and it fell to the wayside. Doesn't mean that it's an epic fail or you should throw in the towel as being a fitness professional. It just means that you may need to focus on your niche and it's a learning curve for us coaches, how to coach more effectively. But teaching our clients how to be more coachable is key to ultimate success. I played a lot of sports growing up, specifically soccer. There was parts in my soccer career that I was very uncoachable. I had an ego. I thought I knew it all. I would just be resistant to growth and change and advice. That being said, but by having the right soccer coach in my early soccer years, I developed great coachable habits to make me a better soccer player and to really help me in my personal life also which I then carried over into my professional career as a fitness coach. So I'm going to share with you today five habits to adopt and practice on how to be more coachable. Clients out there, you may want to share this with your current fitness coach. If you feel like there's a break or there's a disruption in the pattern that you're not quite getting that client coach connection, this might be an amazing video for you. Tip number one is communication. This should be a no brainer, but unfortunately there is always a break in that communication line. This happens with in-person coaching. This happens with nutrition coaching. This happens with online fitness coaching, especially you don't have that hands-on approach and potentially sometimes it's hard to get a hold of your clients as a coach and us fitness coaches. We don't have a hundred percent great days every day. So if a client misses a coaching call or we don't hear from them right when we want to hear back from them, we might just ignore it until we feel like we should reach out. And that's a bad practice to have. So be very diligent coaches out there on reaching out to your clients, making sure that that line of communication stays grounded, stays connected, and it makes huge growth and changes for clients goals and 
just that client coach relationship. I do message my clients at least four to six times a week. And it does not matter if it's a beginner client or if it's an intermediate to an advanced client, they're well within their training phase. A just small little reach out, hey, how's it going? Do you need anything from me? is vital. Depending on my online client's availability, I like doing 30 minute coaching calls a week, up to one hour coaching calls a week. If their lifestyle and their schedule just does not mesh within those elapsed times, then I like to give them maybe a couple calls a week, maybe shorter durations, depending on what they can commit to. Maybe coaches out there, send your client a little video note. That's always really great to receive. Voice notes, eh, they can get a little tiresome sometimes. So texting a video call or a little video message goes a long way. So keep that line of communication open, connect it, and it really changes the dynamic of the relationship, client, coach. Tip two on how to be more coachable. Be open-minded, accept feedback. And remember clients, it's not criticism, it's feedback. And it's all in regards to how the coach is delivering that feedback. It should come with a positive tone. It should not have an underlying negative connotation. We need to keep the vibe and the positivity high. We need to focus on what our clients are doing right. And we need to focus on giving our clients constructive, positive, feedback. It's easy for some fitness coaches to be a little bit moody or snappy sometimes, but we just need to pull ourselves back in, realize why we are coaching our clients. It's all about that passion and making sure that we're delivering in an extremely effective, positive manner. So clients out there, don't take it personal. Come with an open-minded approach. Remember, fitness coaches are the expert and we wanna make sure that we are giving you constructive feedback so you can grow and succeed within all of your goals that you have set for yourself. I'm gonna start with this, but tip number three is let go of your ego. That sounds so nasty, but just to make it a little more fluffy, be willing to accept change and be willing to change. This is all a learning process and it's all about a learning process. I don't go to a physical therapist or to my doctor and expect to give them answers. I need to be open for change and open for advice. Coaches often push you out of your comfort zone. This is to challenge yourself and to find new progressions and innovative ways to constantly improve within your health and fitness journey. So get rid of the ego. Be willing to change. Ooh, this is a big one for me. Tip number four, trust. And trust comes from both spectrum. A client needs to be able to trust their coach. A coach needs to be able to trust their client. If trust is broken, it sets up for a really volatile and negative professional relationship between the client and the coach. So keep that communication flowing, open and going for a better trusting professional relationship. Clients, if you don't trust your coach to help and deliver you amazing, effective programming, potentially nutrition programming, mindset coaching, if you feel like you just can't trust them in regards to what they are teaching you, it may potentially be time to communicate with your coach or to find a new coach. Trust is everything. Trust needs to be adopted and practiced in every relationship in our life. If I don't trust someone personally and professionally, I'm probably not going to share my deepest, darkest secrets. I'm probably not going to invest in what they are trying to sell me. I potentially might not even have that particular person in my life. So trust, it does help you become more coachable. Tip number five, reliability. Be reliable, fulfill your end of the bargain. Client to coach, coach to client. Yes, life gets in the way. One will face challenging circumstances, but there is a difference between that versus making excuses. It's like, you know, when you're in school and you have to take your homework in and the teacher said, where's your homework? And I say, I spilled orange juice on it or my dog ate my homework. Coaches need to be reliable for their clients. If you're showing up late for a session, if you're skipping coaching calls, if you're just 
very, very unreliable as a fitness coach, it flows downhill. You are teaching your client the same habits, tricks, and bad routine potentially. So coaches, remember you are a mentor to your clients. So being reliable is key to optimal success. You need to be reliable for your client. You need to teach them how to be reliable. Reliability is everything. Yes, yeah, a couple minutes late for a session. Sometimes that's fine. We need to be open to lifestyle havoc and challenges, but we also need to be open to pinpointing constant excuses. So those are my five tips on creating better habits to be more coachable. I'm going to share this last one. Wasn't in the five top habits, but passion is important. Clients, the goals that you have chosen, you need to be passionate about them. If you just pick a goal to feel better and five pounds, hey, if that's your goal that you want to strive to achieve and it's motivating, great. But get deep about your goals. Make sure you're passionate about what you're committing to. Because if you lack that passion, probably potentially going to lack commitment you're going to lack the enjoyment of that health and fitness journey that you have committed to. Okay, I think we can all learn from this and apply this to our daily life, personally and professionally. I hope this helped you. So get more out of your workouts, get more out of your health and fitness journey, become more coachable. Being coachable is a sure way of raising the bar. Remember, it's all about smashing goals, challenging yourself to become the best version of yourself.